And now, a few healthy tips on puppy nutrition. Hi everybody, I'm Jim Piddock and today on the Yukonuba Puppy Training Series, we'll take a close look at a very important time in the life of your puppy. Meal time. Because when it comes down to it, you get out of your dog exactly what you put into him. Okay, Stark, come on boy, come on. Yes. Now, because puppy nutrition is something I'm gonna need a little help with, I'm pleased to introduce Martin Dealey, expert dog trainer and founder of the International Association of Canine Professionals. Hi, Martin. Thank Hello, you. Jim. Thank you so much for joining us today. Always my pleasure, Jim. It always is to come. So, Martin, tell us exactly what is it that you look for in a dog food? Well, the first thing, Jim, you're always looking for is quality, you know, and I see you feeding you can over, so no problems there. And the next thing you've got to recognize, I see that uh, Stark is a, a big dog, but we have little dogs as well, so dogs come in all shapes and sizes. And they all have different nutritional needs, I presume. Exactly that. And what you're looking for is a nutrition custom, if you like, designed, tailored to meet the exact needs of your puppy. And what exactly does a puppy need? Well, Jim, first of all, puppies really need food made from the highest quality ingredients. I mean, I've been feeding Yukonuba now for, I would say, 20 years on and I've never found the quality vary. I've always found it to be exactly right. The ingredients are top-notch. Now tell me something, I, I read somewhere, I believe I read it, that 90% of all brain mass in dogs is developed in the first 12 weeks, is that right? Quite right, so the time scientists told me as well and I, I don't doubt it and uh, that's why exactly you have to make sure that your uh, your food has high levels of DHA because DHA encourages brain development and that's what's in the puppy food. I suspect my ex-wife would have loved to have snuck a bit of Yukonuba into my food. I've been doing it for the last couple of days, Jim. Ah, I thought I felt brighter and lighter. <laughs> and it's not just DHA, Jim. Puppies need around 40 different nutrients including a combination of proteins, fiber, fats and carbs. Now, you mentioned proteins there. Yeah. What type do you recommend? Well, always animal proteins, Jim. 100% uh, I would say without doubt. Dogs are carnivores, uh, mainly, and should be fed accordingly. And uh, that's what's nice about Yukonuba. It's the foundation of the Yukonuba nutritional philosophy. So are you saying that not all dog foods use strictly animal proteins? No, unfortunately they don't. In fact, most use a very strong percentage of vegetable protein. And with vegetable protein, if you're not careful, it can lead to your puppy becoming a little bit more fat rather than muscle. Sounds like my workout regime. Uh, I'm afraid mine too. <laughs> no, but I will say that what, one thing I like very much about Yukonuba is they maintain a high standard with their formulas. Um, I'm told that they even reject some of the ingredients that are put into human food. No kidding. Well, I guess that's why it's premium dog food. It is indeed. So you mentioned DHA and proteins. What else is in Yukonuba foods? Well, I don't want to get too technical, but Yukonuba contains omega-3, omega-6 fatty acids, and, and antioxidants. And in case you're wondering what the heck that's for, it's basically to help boost the immune system. Objection, Your Honor? You are a technical man. <laughs> well, Jim, let's put it very simply. For me, good nutrition is the most important factor in raising a great dog. And not just through puppyhood. He needs Yukonuba his whole life. I mean, you've only got to look at Stark's coat. You've only got to look at the way his muscle is coming on. Uh, you can see how it shines through, you know. Uh, you get out what you put in. So a proper diet can almost be considered uh, like preventative maintenance? Absolutely. I like to think of good nutrition as being similar to a savings account. The more you put into it, the better the returns. What a lovely analogy. And coincidentally, every time he's finished eating, I let him outside to make a deposit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and keep checking on those deposits too. Uh, one more thing. It's an important one. When you look at Yukonuba, it's 100% nutrition, 0% filler. There's nothing that just kind of tops it up, as you might say. That means you don't have to feed as much to deliver nutrition. When I started feeding it, I found I was feeding like three quarters of what I'd done with other food. So with Yukonuba, you, you do actually get what you pay for? Especially when you see it in your dogs, and that's what tells you the results. Your dogs over the years. Uncle Martin, what's the moral of the story? Feed your puppy Yukonuba. Exclusively sold in a pet store near you. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us, Martin. All your uh, knowledge on nutrition was, let's say, delicious. Oh, I uh, enjoyed every bite. Oh, now that was some tasty food for thought. It, it just goes on Go and on. on. Let me recap with the Yukonuba five stars on puppy nutrition. One, every puppy's nutritional needs are based on his age, breed size, and lifestyle. Two, there's a huge difference in quality foods on the market today. 
And with you can Uber, you get what you pay for. Three, you can Uber formulas are 100% nutrition and 0% filler. Four, you can Uber formulas aren't just for puppies. They provide a lifetime of quality nutrition. And the fifth star, you can Uber is sold exclusively in pet stores. And for a very good reason. Okay, I'd like to thank Martin Dealey one more time for serving us with all of his knowledge on puppy nutrition. Until next time, this has been another episode of You Can Uber Puppy Training, dedicated to making a good dog great.